ain't so complicated How you make my heart go syncopated Yeah, I know I could be a bit exaggerated But it seems so hard to overstate it How I glow when you're with me Like a Midwest drive on a summer night We're like a sunset hitting the clouds just right Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel It has been a little bit since we released a YouTube video and uh, we've been having a busy winter uh, but we're ready to dedicate some time to making some videos again. We're really excited. The first one is going to be about the annual inspection for the Citabria and we're doing a couple cool things, right? The annual inspection part of it uh, will be its own video but right before we put it away for the winter we noticed that the starter was developing a little intermittent habit of not being reliable. So we're going to be installing a new starter and also we're going to be putting in a new oil filter adapter. In this video, you will see everything from us rebuilding the brake calipers to doing a full power run up while we dynamically balance the prop. Let's get into it. Okay. Uh, number one thing on an annual would be the checklist and the checklist really gives you just a step by step by step on what to do. So this airplane in particular divides it up amongst a bunch of different groups, starting with like the initial ground ops check on it. Then it goes to the propeller group, the engine group, fuselage group, landing gear group, tail group, wing group, and cabin group. And then a final ops check and then AD check and stuff like that. So if you go through that whole checklist, you have fully went over the whole airplane. When you break it up into those groups, it makes it a little more manageable so you can kind of budget some time towards things and narrow down rather than just seeing this giant airplane that I got to do an inspection on. I'm half days with a bottle of Jack in a motel room Looking for the answers up in my glass And all my troubles have climbed up on my shoulders And it don't feel like they'll ever pass Cause I've been on the road for a couple of weeks Drove to St. Louis down to New Orleans Can't remember what I did in Tennessee but I'm just wishing we could all go back So when I didn't have to ride the amp train When I had time to write a song I didn't think that anything could be wrong I guess it's stuck in different times We're giving the brakes a refresh on the Cisabria. We are rebuilding the brake calipers and we're also going to replace the brake pads Okay, so now we're gonna pop it out and I'm just gonna blast a wee little bit of air in here. Tiniest of tiniest little bits. Oh. <laughs> you got misted. <laughs> I think I was wearing these glasses. We're gonna take this O-ring off. If I'm all right, if I'm good. Press it in nice and straight. Voila, there it is. So this Rapco tool, rivet tool kit, it's pretty cool. Basic unit, but it comes with two little dies. The one is the center punch, and then the hole is open on the bottom, and that's to push the rivet out, which we're about to do. And then once you're squeezing them, you put this one in the bottom, so there's a surface. Bottom it out, open it up, take a look. Perfect middle one. Beautiful. Check the pad, make sure the pad's tight. That is ready to install. I'm gonna let my handy dandy helper do the <laughs> inner one.
How does it feel that like your hair even makes it into the belly of a... How do you feel about sleeping and flying away? Over in Emerald Sea to the Farallon Islands And build ourselves a place to stay We can act like lovers <laughs> On a king size stay <laughs> Wake up to kisses you underneath the covers And the whispering of the pine tree sway Yeah, rock me, babe And roll me away And rock me, babe Okay, so first things first, we're gonna find Top Dead Center. And to do that, we're gonna thread this in first. So if you have big hands, big fingers, Big thumbs. <laughs> Big thumbs. You could do this, but I'm gonna put this in. It takes an extra 30 seconds to do, but let's put my thumb over that, and then I'll be able to actually feel and hear when it's this cylinder's compression stroke. Oh. Do that. So now I know it's that compression stroke, so I'm gonna take this out, and I'm gonna try and dial it in as much as I can using my trusty flashlight and you can actually see as it comes up and it's gonna pause for a second and you want to catch it right before it goes down again right about there for me Did he scream and yell and make you all scared and afraid? We'll pack your bags up, darling, and wait. And we'll call inside of you to come out and look at me all oh, that way. You do. I love it when you walk away. Hate when you don't stay. Baby, keep on touching me. Rock me, babe. Rock me, babe. And roll me away. And rock me, babe. And roll me away. Do it right. Well, the riding is on the wall. The pride comes before the fall. If I can shake you, wake you, pick you up and make you see how much I hate when you're big. I had people all over my face when I said goodbye to her. I didn't know it. <laughs> I was like 14 with that one. <laughs> I got in the car and my mom was like, why do you have paint all over your face? <laughs> 
was like. Oh, by the way, we're getting buffet sounds today. That proud photo. Woo! Where you gonna go? This airplane, I don't think has ever been dynamically balanced. So every time the prop is off, we static balance it, but it's never been dynamically balanced. And we use the DynaVibe that was lent to us by a friend. Super quick rundown on what it does without too much detail, because there's a lot of videos about it out there. This is a piece of reflective tape on the back of the prop. We have the tack sensor that basically shoots a laser to that every time it comes around. And then we have the vibration sensor here, which goes vertical. And with the engine running at your cruise RPM, it basically will sense the heavy spot of the prop setup. So we did it with prop on, spinner on, full setup to be flying, and it gave us a heavy spot. <laughs> After the first one, I brought it down to like 0.15, and then we did another fine adjustment and it brought it down to 0 0.03. Yeah. It started off as 0.51 on the scale, but that was still flyable, not anything that you got to pull a prop off and check the static balancing, but it was in the, the rough zone. Um, so this thing is just incredible. I didn't think that it was gonna go less than 0.1. Success. I am making us a quick hot chocolate before we put the cowling on in hopes that it puts Cliff in a good mood. We always seem to argue when we put the cowlings back on. Because you always do it wrong. <laughs> Ready for the stress? Oh no, you're recording. Cut. <laughs> That's beautiful. Success. So complicated How you make my heart go syncopated